Hey everybody, Extrasify here. Welcome back to another The War Within Gold Making video. Now in today's video, I got quite a special one for you. We are going to be talking about fishing. So personally, while fishing isn't my favorite thing to do in the game, it does have quite a good average gold per hour with all the new fish and all the new pools to fish in. So firstly, we are on the Isle of Dorne. Now, I'm sure you can do some fishing in the other zones as well, like the higher up level ones. I have not tried those personally yet, but I will be trying those in the future, and I'll be making videos on those as well. So stay tuned for that, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I basically just went around flying and tracking fish so that you have uh, you know, all the pools on the minimap here. And basically, I only fished in pools because fishing in open water you kind of mostly just get grays at least at what level my fishing is currently at 107 so yeah i just fished in all these pools you have the stargazer swarms you have the glimmer pools you have the rippled surface so i did a little bit on this coast here so i basically went from here to this end over around this side here then flew to this coast did the fishing along here and then came to this little coast here and about here is where I finished my half hour. So with that being said, let me show you guys the loot of all the great items we got from fishing roughly half an hour on the Isle of Dorne. Real quickly, I just want to talk about my new affiliate with goldcap.com. Now this is a community driven website with a bunch of YouTube content creators that came together to make this awesome site that has basically a plethora of gold guides. So I like to go to all retail guides and as you can see, there are an absolute ton of these. Now, if you go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom, you can notice we also have a discord here. You can go ahead and join the discord and join that community as well. Clicking the sign up now will give you a full access to the entire website. It's only $9.99 a month or $99.99 a year. Like I said, we have the discord here as well and there's an introductory video if you guys want to watch that as well and i can promise you guys will not regret this absolutely amazing website for all things gold making so guys here's my inventory sorry about the little bit of mess just don't look around here completely unrelated but i did get a nice boe blue world drop when killing some mobs it goes for almost 10k so obviously i'm not going to factor that in the fishing but just wanted to show that off real quick so here we are guys all the great fish that i kept so let's go ahead and start with the common quality ones. We got four of these Dilly Dally Dace, or Dace, I don't know how you pronounce that fish. But you'll notice basically the common fish, you can like throw it back in the water to get like plus 10 fishing that you can stack up. Now a lot of people use that so they can catch the rare fish that are worth more gold. So these will sell pretty quick and they'll sell generally kind of cheaper than the greens, but in general, Pretty good solid value here, about 50 gold each for those, four of them. Then moving along, we have Bloody Perch. Now these are very nice as well. Uh, 17 of them we got and they go for about 50 gold each. Then we have the Bismuth Bitterling. These are a little bit cheaper, about 38 and a half at the moment, uh, but we did get 18 of those, so I'll happily take it. Then we have the Crystalline Sturgeon. The min buyout at the moment is very cheap, but I don't think that's an accurate value. I think it's worth about 40 to 50 gold each, and we did get 16 of those. So that's all we got for the commons. Now let's go into the uncommons. I got one pale husk fish. Now this actually says that I opened the contents. I don't know what actually you can get from here, but I figured I'd give it a try because why not? Okay, that... that I don't know what you can get in there, but we got a splintered stone, so that's uh, 60 gold, bye bye. Uh, that, that sucks, but oh well, it was for fun. Now with the rest of the uncommon fish, we have firstly the Roaring Angler Seeker. Now we got three of these for about 52 gold at the moment, but about a 60 to 70 gold value region wide. Then we have these Nibbling Minnows, they go for about 38 gold each, and we got 10 of those. Then we have the Golden Gill Trout. We have 10 of those as well for about 48 gold each. Moving along, we have the Quiet River Bass. Five of them we got for 61 gold each. Those are very nice value there. 
then we have the Dornish Pikes. We got nine of them for 54 gold on my realm, but the region value says quite a different thing. They say about almost 200 gold each. So those are a really nice one to look out for, I believe. And then lastly, we have the Whispering Stargazer. These come from Stargazer Pools, and we got 47 of those going for about 45 gold each. And then two rare quality items we got firstly rare fish we got the spiked sea raven we got 10 of those min buyout at the moment is 105 gold but the market value is about 70 gold so very nice finds whenever you get those and we also got a cosmetic like a pitchfork uh it's currently going for like a couple hundred gold which is unfortunate but um obviously the prices of this item is going to be all over the place Although it does seem pretty common to drop, so I don't expect it to go for that much. But pretty interesting find nonetheless. So guys, like I said, that was from half an hour of fishing in the pools around the Isle of Dorne. Now I'll pop up on the screen the total looted value here. Just under 9,000 as you can see, which is not the best obviously. But then again, prices are still being determined. This has only been out a couple of days on NA, so... Everyone's trying to figure out the value of these items and you've got to think that there's more supply of these items because more people are fishing. So the prices I believe will go up a little more in the coming weeks, but still almost 20k an hour from simply fishing is pretty good overall. I can't complain too much. I know and have heard that in other zones fishing is a bit more lucrative so I will be doing more fishing videos in the future, but just wanted to share you guys my results of half an hour from the starter zone aka Isle of Dorne. Definitely not a bad gold per hour, but there's obviously a bit better. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys decide to give this a try and any rare items you might get. Definitely would like to hear about the rare possibilities of fishing as this is one of my first times trying fishing in the new expansion. So let me know any results that you get in the comments below. And then make sure to check out my gold giveaway for NA region video. It'll be in the description of this video. If you don't know, I'm giving away 400,000 gold to three lucky winners. A total of 1.2 million gold is going to the community. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment something you enjoy about gold making on that video. And yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching today's video. Good luck with your auction house sales, and I'll see you guys in the next gold making video.